convinced that he was under some kind of a curse. And so finally, uh, he ends up going to Mrs. Knopp over in Marietta, who was a black witch. Uh, he consulted her uh, on several occasions. Uh, all the people he talked to, all the powwow doctors he talked to, uh, confirmed in him that he was under a curse. And so he was, he was absolutely convinced that he was under a curse. And as he would later say at the trial, he was, he was fearful of his, for his life. Uh, when he talked to the black witch in Marietta by the name of Mrs. Knopt, uh, she confirmed also uh, that he was under a curse and, uh, and that uh, uh, in order to break the curse, she told him what he had to do. And, and, and so, uh, as, as opposed to the other people he talked to, Mrs. Knopp uh, triggered his, uh, his going forward with the next step. He, uh, she told him to produce a dollar bill. He produced a dollar bill in his left hand, and she made some, some magical, mystical uh, uh, phrases, uh, uttered some magical, mystical phrases, and uh, the picture of Washington on the dollar bill at least as far as he could, uh, could see, understand, changed from Washington to Nelson Raymire, uh, down in, of course, down here in the hollow. And, uh, and Mrs. Knopf said, that's the man that has cursed you, that has put a spell on you. Now, and then she told him, in order to break the curse, in order to break the spell, it will be necessary for you to go down to the hollow and to get from Raymire the book, The Long Lost Friend, and also get a lock of Raymire's hair and bury it behind the barn six feet in the earth. And you do that, that'll break the curse. 